Birdie's Big Girl Shoes by Sue Jean Rim. Birdie's Big Girl Shoes. Whenever Birdie's mother got ready in the morning, Birdie was there to help. She would start by picking out sparkly jewelry. Next, she would find the perfect pair of sunglasses. Then her dog, Monster, would help her choose just the right perfume. That's Birdie, that's Monster. But more than anything, in the whole wide world, Birdie longed to wear her mother's shoes. She loved her crocodile pumps, her summy, summer peep toes, and all her strappy sandals. So many shoes. Birdie couldn't wait a minute longer. Mommy, I think I'm ready to wear big girl shoes. Monster wasn't so sure. Birdie, you'll have years and years to wear high heels, her mother said. I promise. Birdie imagined how grown up she'd feel dancing in high heels. She thought how, about how much better she would be at hide and seek. Monster would never find her. She pictured how fun it would be to cartwheel in beautiful shoes, her feet glittering in midair. Mommy, Birdie asked again later, could I wear your shoes just for a little while? Oh, Birdie, her mother said, I promise to be careful. Cross my heart, pretty please. Birdie's mother looked into her daughter's hopeful eyes. Well, okay, sweetheart, but you have to be very careful. I will, I will, I will, she promised, then raced to her mother's shoe closet. She's going, there's monster. Birdie carefully slipped her little toes into one shoe, then slid into another. She looked at herself in the mirror and gasped. They are so big. Look at her small feet. She felt beautiful. She felt glamorous. She felt like a movie star. She can literally sit in the shoes. They're so big. Let's shim sham, monster said Birdie as she started to dance, but twisting wasn't easy and wobbly peep toes. Let's play hide and seek instead. I'll hide first, she decided, but hiding was impossible with pointy Mary Jane sticking out. Cartwheel time, Birdie shouted, but landing sure was tricky and sky high silly toes. Birdie looked down. Her feet were sore and her knees were scraped. This is no fun, Birdie thought. She knew just what she needed to do. First she kicked off one shoe, then kicked off the other. She's taking the shoes off. Barefoot Birdie did the best cartwheel she'd ever done. She tangoed and hand spun and grand jeeted all across the living room. At bedtime she played hide and seek. Her mother couldn't find her. Here I am. From that day on, Birdie decided she wasn't quite ready for grown-up shoes yet. For now, she liked her beautiful barefoot shoes most of all. The end.